Hello, my name is Bob Kabarski from the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video covers how to configure notification service on Avaya 1x client enablement services. The notification service is a core component of the Avaya 1x client enablement services system. It uses SMTP to send SMS messages to mobile devices for things like voicemail alerts or URL information for downloading mobile applications. To begin, log into the system as an administrator and select the System tab. Then in the left pane, select Notification. The Modify Notification Service window will open. The top portion of the screen displays the type and version information of the notification server. Next, there are entries for the handle and description fields. Then to enable the service, select the Enabled checkbox. Then there is an optional TLS selection to provide an additional layer of security if required. Next, enter the required mail domain information. The maximum transport pool size default is set to 10. This is the maximum number of connections that can be established with the SMTP server. The default maximum queue size is set to 500, and this is the maximum number of notifications that can be in queue. The maximum retry connect period default setting is 10, and this is the maximum number of minutes the process will try to connect to a client in the event of a connection failure. The next portion of the screen is the monitor status. Enabled will be displayed if the service is working correctly. An error will be displayed along with exception information if there is a problem. Select Refresh to update the status. The Simple Mail Transport Protocol portion of the screen is used to configure the mail server information. Enter the IP address of the SMTP server in the host field. Then enter the port number that is used. The login ID is a valid user account with mail send privileges. If your SMTP server is configured for anonymous bind, enter any values in the login and password fields. There is also a field to confirm the password. The final section on the screen is the TLS configuration and this is for the SSL supported SMTP server connection. Use Browse to locate the certificate file, then select Upload to import it. Finally, once you've completed your entries, select Save for the changes to take effect. Please note the notification service is used in conjunction with the SMS domains for mobile devices, and this was covered in detail in another Avaya Mentor video. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information is useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.